Thanks, Christine. Good evening. Under the pressure of mounting foreign debt and continued spending on imports, the Prime Minister has hinted strongly at raising taxes on luxury items. A French very fast train cost almost as much to produce as Australia's record $1.8 billion foreign debt last month. The Prime Minister Hawke, it was to be a very fast ride. The commercial speed uh, will be about 300. Yeah. As the PM was whisked along at 260 kilometres an hour, the prospect of increasing taxes on luxury goods loomed for many at home as the light at the end of the tunnel a way to stop Australians splurging on things foreign. At least Mr Hawke hinted as much just hours earlier. Now, a sensible government will look at all these uh, sorts of proposals, examine them, look at their various implications. Uh, that's been done. So what to do about things foreign? Should we stop buying them or should we, as Mr Hawke hints from Paris, consider a tax on so-called luxury goods? But most of all, is there anything that we, you and I, can do about Australia's worsening balance of payments deficit? Professor Fred Gruen is a former director of the Economic Policy Research Unit at the ANU. Professor Gruen, uh, there were editorials today calling for us uh, to change our ways. I guess the question is, change what? Now, you can try and do it by jawboning people and saying they should save the tax cuts, or you can try and reduce their incomes by higher interest payments, or you can do it in any of a large number of ways. And basically, the government is trying to do it in a a combination of ways. But it doesn't seem to be working, does it? The government has done quite a bit and it's quite possible that the things are working but that we can't see them as yet. Is it simply a case of uh, not buying things foreign as it were? Well, it's not just a question of not buying things foreign, it's also necessary that we save somewhat more. Save in the which bank? Means, which means that, that out of our income we should spend less. So would a tax uh, on luxury goods be one way of forcing us to save? I mean, is that a problem? Well, it's one thing that you could do. I think on balance it's not going to do very much, but it could just add a little bit to it. Using your words on balance, how would you, uh, how would you describe yourself as optimistic or pessimistic about our future and our ways of controlling what seems to be our worsening economic problems? We're in a much worse situation than anybody thought we would be in 12 months ago. Um, 12 to 18 months ago, we f I at least felt that our current account problems were headed in the right direction and they've taken a kick up and they're much worse than we expected. So uh, in that sense, uh, things, are, uh, things have been going badly. My impression is that we are now on the turning point and that from now on, I would expect that news would start to get better. On, the, on, uh, on both spending and on current account deficits, but that may not happen for another two or three months. Professor Gruen, let's hope you're right, and thanks for your time. Good.